day here. We've been seeing some rain. We've had some thunderstorms and some sunshine getting through the region plus gusty winds. Right now, Idaho Falls, we got some sun here over my shoulder, but you look off to the southwest, you got some ominous clouds working back into the region, and we've had some brief showers today. We even saw some good rain late last night, early this morning, and as we go around the region right now, we have 58 degrees at the Idaho Falls Airport. The winds are kind of in a lull right now, but as these thunderclouds come back in, the winds are expected to pick back up. Dark clouds as you take a live look here at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam with a fairly mean looking thunderstorm hanging out south of American Falls towards Rockland with 59 degrees at the Pocatello Airport and winds are starting to increase. Let's jump over to First Alert Viper. I want to show you the active conditions out there. Things are looking really active, especially as you get out of the Magic Valley and coming in out of Nevada. This stuff right here, that's what's been triggering a couple of these severe thunderstorm warnings. In fact, one of these severe thunderstorm warnings is still going until at least 545 tonight. It's in the Rockland area and it's been really picking up with intensity here in this spot. Look at the lightning. This thing is popping like crazy and in the last 30 minutes we've seen over 150, 130 lightning strikes. Excuse me, I misread the meter there, but 100 actually did jump up to 150 lightning strikes on the entire screen here, but this storm is getting right over Rockland and it's even got some positive lightning strikes. When you see a positive lightning strike, that means the lightning strike itself is originating from the top of the thundercloud. So in many cases, we're talking like 30,000 feet, and that thing is coming all the way down to the ground, which means it's a very strong thunderstorm when you have positive lightning strikes. Negative lightning strikes usually come from the base of the thundercloud, and they're pretty run of the mill. But here we go. This is a very strong thunderstorm right now, making its way into Power County, just starting to get into American Falls and Aberdeen, and it's moving off to the northeast, and it's becoming over into Arbon Valley, and then it's going to get over the mountains into Pocatello here shortly. We've also had some active thunderstorms this afternoon and evening, getting over Marsh Valley, Aramo, getting over to Lava, McCam, and then also here into Soda Springs and Grace. Another round of thunderstorm action coming in with a cell that is coming into the Jim Valley there. Look at that. It's also putting down some lightning. Not as strong as the Rockland storm, but a fairly decent sized thunderstorm. And we are going to be looking for more of these scattered showers and thunderstorms over the next couple of hours, especially getting into southern Idaho and in later for the Snake River Plain. I know we're not seeing anything right now in Idaho Falls, Blackfoot, Fort Hall, and Chubbuck, but it's all coming in our direction. So again, this stuff is heading in the easterly, northeasterly direction right now out of the southwest. So continuing to see threats for more of these storm clouds tonight. And again, that severe thunderstorm warning till 545 for Rockland. It looks like they may let that one expire. Or actually, they might continue it here in just a second. We'll have to see. And as we take a look at the big picture, uh, we have that area of low pressure, which is digging along the west coast. And that area of low pressure is going to continue to move inland. And it's going to start to drive in colder temperatures for this weekend with numbers getting into the 50s this weekend. And then more of that cold air is going to get in down here from the northwest, and it's going to get very cold for Monday and Tuesday of next week. And that's when we actually see the possibility of some snow in the Snake River Plain. Showers tonight on the Vipercast overnight through tomorrow morning. A few spotty sprinkles tomorrow morning get the day started. Then we catch a little bit of a lull late morning, midday for Friday. And then as we get into Friday afternoon, more of those thunderstorms starting to pop back into play, stretching from central Idaho well into Wyoming. And then you start to see more blue on the map with the dropping temperatures that didn't indication of some snow trying to work in, especially for Saturday morning. We could see some snow where we like to get it into our local mountains. Uh, temperatures tomorrow 59 in McCam and Malad, 58 in Preston with 57 in Lava Hot Springs with highs at 58 for Rexburg, 57 in Jackson, 57 in St. Anthony, 56 in Dubois with temperatures at 56 in Stanley, 61 in Salmon, 53 in Arco and highs in Idaho Falls at 59, 60 for Pocatello, 58 in Burley, low Sunday into the 40s with those scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll start with the Rexburg eight day forecast. Notice the temperatures here for this weekend into the mid to lower 50s. Then we're into the 40s by Monday and Tuesday as we're going to continue to see threats for more rain and snow as another system enters the region. We're expecting to see here more chances of rain and snow for next week. As you take a look at the Blackfoot eight day forecast, it's going to get cold this weekend for Saturday and Sunday with highs into the lower 40s on Monday, mid 40s for Tuesday with a chance of some snow showers there. As we take a look at salmon, you'll have highs around 61 for tomorrow. A break in the pattern on Saturday with highs around 60 on Sunday. Snow showers trying to work into the region on Monday with a high of 45.
Jackson. Highs here at 57 for tomorrow with scattered showers and thunderstorms Friday and Saturday. We're into the mid 50s on Sunday. Snow showers Monday and Tuesday mixing with a little bit of rain, but highs into the chilly 40s and overnight lows into the teens and 20s. Here's your Pocatello eight day forecast. We got highs here at 60 for tomorrow, 53 on Saturday, 56 on Sunday, and then we're expecting to see some scattered showers Monday and Tuesday as we get into next week with some really cold temperatures and yeah, it's going to be cold enough next week. We might even see some snow shower activity to get the work week started. Idaho Falls 59 for tomorrow with a chance of rain and rumbles of thunder. A few showers Saturday morning with highs around 53 40s to get us started for the work week. Our John Adams GMC Spirit of Idaho coming to us here from Kim and Firth who had a beautiful sunset along the Snake River. We're starting over with a new month of entrance, so go to news3now.com, go to weather under Spirit of Idaho and upload your photo to the John Adams GMC Spirit of Idaho. Eric.